Today's question, how do you know when you should change an exercise out of your routine or leave it in? Um, this is very simple. If you're getting, um, if you've maximized the results from a movement, uh, so it's become stale, basically, you should change it out. So for example, a very and, and change an exercise is a very uh, loose term. So for example, bench press, let's say you've done dumbbell bench press with 220s for three sets of 10 for uh, three months. And it's just, you're not getting the same effect in your chest, you're not feeling it in your triceps, you're not feeling, you know, you're just not feeling it anymore. Um, simply changing the exercise, so changing it to an incline bench, where you just raise the bench, you change the angle, and you do the exact same thing, you can suddenly feel your muscles again, you're getting a bit of doms, you're getting a bit of a pump, that's a good sign that you should change out the exercise. Another sign is that basically you're bored of doing it. So if you've got the same routine month after month after month, and you, you know, you're just mentally burnt out but you can't do it anymore that's a good sign you need to change movements um basically but the main one is staleness if you're not getting a training effect from it or progress has become very stalled so it's very like if you're doing a you know if, if your strength if your progression in the back squat has just stalled for weeks and weeks and weeks and months maybe you should vary you should you know leave the back squat out for a while do front squats do safety bar squats do back squats do some variation of a squat for a few weeks a few months and then when you go back to the back squat again, you will be fresh, shall we say, and you will be able to, you know, progress on it again. That, that's when variation needs to kind of happen and occur, just when things are getting, just you're not getting progress anymore in certain lifts. Now, the thing is, how you measure progress is important. A lot of people change their movements every week, which is daft. You need to have consistency in the movements to actually see change. So like what I tell people is, look, if you're doing movements for, I change my movements of people generally, you know, I'm training in four to six weeks. And that's basically if they just want a different, you know, a different stimulus, or if they want kind of variation of program, I do that. Me personally, I do the same exercises for roughly nine to 12 weeks. Um, just to get as much, eke out as much performance as I can do in those movements and then I'll vary them up. And again, variation to me is very subtle. So for example, I might do, uh, for this training cycle, I might do barbell bench press and I might do incline dumbbell bench press. The next training cycle, I might do barbell incline bench press and I might do floor press uh, with a barbell. You know, so I'm still working my chest and triceps, they're the two things I wanna work, but it's a variation of movements just to get as much performance out of them as I can. So that, and plus it gives my joints and kind of, things arrest as well because it's the new movement pattern so you get kind of recovery from them as well. But that's basically it. If you're not getting as much progress, pump or dams out of the movement as you would like, it's probably a sign you should change it, but you should give it four to six weeks of a movement before, you know, making any decisions that way. All right, guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. As always, we'll talk to you later.